Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. King's Quest Chapter 4 is finally out. So, let's do just a little bit of a quick recap here. So, Chapter 1, before he was king, this is a preamble to even King's Quest 1, I think, or in Medius Rest of King's Quest 1. Uh, chapter 2 was right after the events of King's Quest 1, sort of in between 2 and 3. Chapter 3 was uh, ostensibly... Uh, the ending of King's Quest 2 when he went up to go find Valenice and kind of expounded on that which I really loved and now chapter 4 Snow Place Like Home which I'm reading according to the trailers and everything is about uh, if it's not King's Quest 3 era it's like right after it because King's Quest 3 you play as Alexander and Alexander just kind of pops up it's like hey by the way you have kids now apparently I, I'm really curious to see how it goes. Apparently, there's a lot of family dynamics and puzzles with two people now that Alexander is here. No word about Rosella. I don't know if the game is going to just sort of ignore what happened in King's Quest IV, The Perils of Rosella, but we will soon find out. Um... Your turn. Mom, wake up. Boy, do I remember this. <sighs> well, not that part. I usually got up right away because I, as good Pizza husband. Flavor oh. jelly beans. I admire your dreams. I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm so asleep. <sighs> so asleep, so asleep. Uh -huh. Stay asleep, love. I'll check on the twins. Oh, were they twins? I always thought that one was a little bit- Oh, we have a stuffed Mr. Fancy Cakes! Uh, oh, they're in the same room. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. That, well, let me, gee, gee, let me guess which one's- which. Sorry. Oh, interesting. So I have to, like, kind of walk the gauntlet here. Now, I was told on Twitter that I should have a little bit of practice beforehand- Look at those pajama pants! Practice moving Graham around without hitting anything because this will- Ow. This will come into play later, so I'm going to get some practice here. I never thought the biggest challenge in a King's Quest game was learning how to walk into a circle. God damn it, Mr. Fancy Cakes. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So, it looks like the hitbox is a little bit more forgiving towards the top of Graham than the bottom. Okay, so apparently this will serve me well in the missions to come. All right, babies. First, let's check on Rosella. Rosella's being the... Oh, no, they're both crying. JK. I thought Alexander was being the jerk. Oh, look at you. You're dressed up like a little blue jelly bean. Well, let's just spin the mobile. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's got the dragon. Missed, uh, triumph. Can't tell what that is. And then a princess. Oh, is that a little goblin? Oh, adorable. Oh, that really does the trick. Two seconds with the mobile and out like a light. Love it. All right, Alexander. What's wrong? Oh, he's got the, exactly the same one. Okay, that's good. I was afraid it was going to be like a little bit kind of gender biased there with the princess on that one. What do you want me to do? What can I get you? Uh, where's that pamphlet? Does your mind need stimulation? Are, are you hungry? Oh, 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 you smell like a circus. We should never have switched you over to snoot milk formula. I really want to know what a snoot is. Not your style? Mmm, all right. So... Oh. You smell like rotten toenails and... Wolfie? Hey. Alright, what can I get this baby? Um, rattle. Nope. Can I, like, pick up these toys? No, I can't do anything with them. What have we here? Our room is getting pretty crowded with all this baby stuff. Oh yeah, seven bottles strewn all over the room. Poor man. Well, oh, you're talking about this. Yeah, that. All right, apparently we have a bunch of baby cream salves and unguents over here. Uh, let's see. Yep, baby needs some of that. Organic snoot milk formula. Their palates can taste the difference, I'm told. Um, Graham, you're not wearing your cape, so I'm not sure where exactly to stash that. Cloth diapers. Every father's dream. Oh, not like you do the laundry, shush. All right. I can do this. Are you sure you're not awake, Valenice? 
You're right. I got this. Oh, we had to go with the cloth diapers. All clean. How's it feel, bud? You are a master swaddler. Oh, oh really? no. Yep, the joys of parenthood, my friend. Okay, let's fill up a bottle. This is probably what she'll want. Is that a picture of a chaka up there on my this mantle? Bottle's pretty cold. That's wonderful. Bottle's pretty cold. Okay, way. All right, into the fire you go, because that's probably safe. It could be warmer. How do I know when it's done? Perfect. Yeah. Damn, I am such a flippin' good father. Holy crap. Down the hatch. There we go. Just right. All right, time for a burpin'. Oh, do it, Rosella. Come on. Very nice. And out she goes. Uh, of course. Oh, uh, no. Until you're older, and we'll shoot our bows, and go on adventures, and we will all sleep through the night. Twins are great, they said. Fun barrel of laughs, they said. Well, they never tried putting twins to sleep. Okay. So now, this baby probably just needs some comforting. I'm used to hitting a lever and having the solution present itself. Where is the lever? Lever. Okay, Prince. I have an idea. Uh. I may be king, but... Darn! I may be king, but you are my prince. If life gets too puzzling, I'll give you the hints. Your quest has begun. My kingdom you'll run. Ah, damn it. Horse feathers! Your quest has begun. My kingdom you'll run. I'll love you forever, my son. You are my arrow, I am your bow, guiding your shot on the journeys we'll go. We'll make lots of puns, no puzzles undone, I'll love you forever, my son. You're the treasure on my map. The feather in my cap And when my beard grows grayer and frail You'll tell my tale If you sleep soundly and try not to wake Tomorrow I'll whip up a stack of pancakes <laughs> Choco chips by the ton. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. I'll love you forever, my son. Melting, melting. Uh. Oi, do I have something in my teeth? Well, I haven't seen him in years. A hot date? I might. I haven't asked her yet. Is this about Royal Guard number three again? Don't bother. I asked her out this morning and she said I wasn't her type. <laughs> mm, perhaps she's after a more muscular build. Like yourself? <laughs> Please, you look like a walking circus tent. Well, at least I don't dress like an upside down lollipop. Your necklace is banal and trite. Your necklace is banal and trite. Well, you look like a trash can that swallowed a clown. I'd say you should be guarding a bridge, for that's offensive to the other trolls. I can hear every word, you know. I'm only six feet away. Zards, I thought she was royal guard number four. Still? <laughs> 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 
They do know they're both dressed in the exact same. Oh, get there they are. Last year's model. Not everyone can keep up with the latest fashion trends like us, Larry. Up top. Oh, yes. Best dynamic ever. Uh oh. Is it time for the grand reveal of Did Manny? You hear that? I you think it what? might be. We finally get to see the transmogrification. You are looking poor, my friend. Oh, immediately. No, we all got number six. Intruder. This is your last <laughs> You can do it. Come on, Royal Guard number, whatever you are. All right, it's up to Kyle and Larry. You guys can do it. It's two against one, guys. Go right ahead. Telegraph your attack. Oh, yes. Look at this. Whirly bird, Kyle and Larry cross the crotch attack. Larry! Come on, Larry. Did you just kill Larry? You better just be Stay unconscious. Come back and fight me, you coward! If this guy just killed half of my royal guard, especially Larry. Larry. Oh, is he really dead? No, please say it ain't so. Just be unconscious. Just be unconscious. Larry, you'll be all right. Oh, Kyle, he's heartbroken. He's just gonna die in his legs. So this is interesting. So this not only tells us where Mordok got his choke powers, but... Is it going to be like Mananan steals my children right from their cribs? Because honestly, I don't remember from King's Quest 3 how Alexander and Mananan came to be. Get the babies. Oh god, it's Torrin's passage all over again. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I was you. Manny? No. Only my friends call me that. You can address me by my full name. Mananan. What happened to you? I would like to say that I called say this from episode my one. Mind outgrew my body. What do you want with me? <laughs> oh, Graham. Why is it always about you? Stay away from them. Shh. You wouldn't want to wake them. Not when they're sleeping so soundly. Hey there, little guy. You look like you could use a friend. Yuck. You're the spitting image of your father. We can't be having that. <laughs> Don't you hurt him. What do you want? I'll do anything. What I want is for your family to feel the pain you humans brought on me. To know what it's like to be raised in a world that rejected you. And your child, this baby, this, uh... What's his name? Alexander. <laughs> no, that just won't do. It's too regal and uninspired. How about... Gwydion? Sounds more like a slave name, doesn't it? If you want the crown, take it! Just leave our babies alone! Don't fool yourself. I could snap my fingers right now and drop all of you dead. But what fun would that be? It certainly wouldn't be very kingly of me. No. I want to earn that crown you stole from me, Graham, by proving that I'm better than you. And perhaps with a more thoughtful father, this child could help inspire change. No, you can't. Don't worry. We'll be back one day to claim his birthright. And after our little Gwydion inherits the throne, he will better serve the needs of Daventry. For all species. It won't work. I'll find you. Just try. Um, Grab, if it helps, I know where he's going. No. No. no! no! We are left with war inferior child! 
I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit more story heavy than the previous parts. The first 24 hours are the most critical. We need to search everywhere. Contact everyone. The trolls, the Goblin King. Message Nice. Have her search in the West. Yes, absolutely. If she would respond to my letters. What? Mm. Huh? Never mind. We'll work that out later. I won't sleep. Now, if you guys remember Nice from, uh, what was it, Chapter 3, we have a feeling she's going to be Queen Icebella, who made an appearance in King's Quest V. Down every goblin hole, hoping for a sign or clue from our son. Uh, you go that way, honey. I'll go check back here. I tore through that bedroom looking for any sign of my son. Alright, well, I guess this would kind of make sense. This is where, well, this is where Manny and Mordak kind of grew up. But I don't see any sign of them. He definitely outgrew this bed. <laughs> I found a small sliver of hope. Oh, I guess they did cross through here. I will never stop looking. And we didn't. For 18 years, I never gave up hope. He did give up shaving, though. It's time, dear. We've done all we can. Daventry needs you to get back to work. So for 18 I'm years, I've not done sure nothing if I kingly. How. Graham, it's. I mean, Come I appreciate on, it. Oh, hey, Rosella. I'll help. Rosella had grown into a beautiful young lady. She was the perfect daughter. But it was hard for me to focus on anything knowing my family was incomplete. That's exactly what the terrorists want. Third initiative, really? That's the important paperwork crucial to Daventry's future? I'd rather be out searching for my son. Come now, dear. A spoonful of custard is the only joy some people get in this life. We have to break out of this funk. What about a vacation? The holiday's coming, and I've always wanted to visit the place where you met Mom. We have to get through all this paperwork first. Do you want me to whip up some choco chip pancakes? Uh, that does sound good, actually. Perhaps for dinner. Oh, I know! Staring contest. <laughs> Those always cheer me up. Oh, I don't know. What's the matter? Afraid you might lose your undefeated record? Well, no, it's just... Too late. Tavern Tree Decree P33 R5 states that no one can deny a staring contest when challenged by the royal family. <laughs> I knew that decree would backfire. <laughs> You're pretty brave challenging your father to a staring contest. Ooh, is that I had a smirk? feeling there would be a nope. mini game involved I just have a smirky in this. Mouth. Has anyone seen my keys? Leave me alone. At least you're alive. Thank you for not dying. Can we see Carrie? Can we see Kyle and Larry? This dude covers all smiles. You will never win. This is annoying. Come on. Have I ever told you? They call me Pockets too. It's a family name. Oh, Pockets. are your eyes getting heavy? No. Mm. No. It's just that your eyes Kinda. are computer generated and don't have to blink like my fallible human eyes. Not funny. Okay, my eyes are really starting to hurt. Thinking Come on, thoughts. stay in there. Sardine smoothies, yes. frog dog Fridays, Wolfie's itchy back. Focus, Graham. You're slipping. You're slipping. You're slipping. You are not concentrating. Tickle fight! Oh, 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 cheater! Cheaters, both of you! <laughs> hey, I got an achievement for that. What? Alexander? What? What? Oh, God. Uh, He's gonna be actually, in. Actually, my name is Gwydion. Uh. Okay, whoa. That does kind of coincide with three. He just sort of finds his own way back home. And I wonder, there's no, no mention of Alexander Rosella in his old age. Have my kids forgotten about me? Oh, just right from the heart, dear. That's, sad. That's even sadder. Uh, I'm just having trouble seeing the point of all this. The words aren't coming. Oh, Graham. Since when have you had trouble finding words? Don't tell me your well has run dry. That's cute, love. But I don't have the energy for a pun war, I'm afraid. It was worth a shot. Come on, let's 
Bust out of here. Wouldn't you rather be uh, on an adventure? We could take that trip to Kalima we've been talking about. That does sound lovely, but every moment with you is all the adventure I could ever hope for. It's best to take care of these things now. The doctors were pretty clear about that. Oh my god, am I writing my will and testament? It's time we tell the children. That I'm dying? All right. Scheisse. You called for me? You look exactly... Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot, Gwendolyn. <laughs> something we would like to tell you. Gwendolyn wasn't you born yet. probably take a seat. So I guess these are my grandchildren. I'm not sure if that was actually made clear in previous ones. Oh, follow me. I... Uh, uh, um, hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. You know... But I have had many great and fulfilling adventures. But there comes a time in every king's life when he must... When he... I have a feeling must, that uh, he's not going to be passing the torch to his children. There comes a time when every king must hand over his tasks to a worthy successor. And that's why I am giving you the very important job of filing this letter with the official court of amendments to addendums. I need some changes enacted immediately. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh -oh. oh, he, Was that he all? chickened out. Yes. The changes outlined in the letter are critical to the well-being of Daventry. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Graham. Sorry. And which addendum should this be filed under? Why, the number is on the front, of course. Addendum 48677. 48677. Farewell, Grandpa. I do hope you feel better. So it sounds like... He really wants Garth to become Garth. the next king. Why haven't you but been talking he just to me? can't bring himself what to tell anybody that he's going to die. Oh, great. And now I've made him so angry. He's probably going to be an awful king. What about Gwendolyn? I think Gwendolyn would be a great ruler. She's more like me than Garth is. So maybe... Alexander and uh, well, Alexander probably make an unfit ruler because he was raised by Mananin, so God knows how that ended up. But no, no. In King's Quest Six, he was he was a great upstanding guy. So maybe that can't be it. I wonder what happened to Rosella. He said one word to me for three days. He lost in our game of wits, but I don't think that's what's bothering him. He's just been so cold and distant lately. I'm sure whatever it is will pass. The bonds of a strong family like ours are not easily broken. Actually, that does remind me of a story, one I have not thought about in a while. And interestingly enough... Go ahead. Interestingly enough, it's about your father. Alright, so now we get to learn the whole backstory of what happened in the interim, what, 30 years? We were in the middle of a very cold winter, and Alexander was having a hard time adjusting to the life of a warrior. So, we decided the best thing for everybody was to take a family vacation to tan the lore. Oh, the spot where you fell in love with Grandma. Yes. And the weather was much sunnier there this time of year. It would be a great opportunity to get to know my son. I had a thousand questions about how he escaped Mananan, but I didn't want to bombard him all. I feel it's a little bit more conspiratorial than that. I think he's actually been set loose by Mananan, maybe. We'd make a little detour so I could share one of my favorite spots. Sounds good to me. I do have one tiny request, though. Anything for my Alexander? Yeah. It's, um... <clears throat> It's that name. Uh, you don't want to be called Gwydion, do you? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just, I figured since I have to learn a new name anyway, why not pick something with a little more spark in it? You know, something with a little mystery? Something like, I don't know, 
Caduceus the Magnificent. Yeah, I, I always love that name. Um, you actually want to be called Caduceus? I mean, it's just a thought. More like a dream. Well, it's not a very princely name, but w we can talk about it. R really? Now, what to show you first? Uh, oh, is that a statue of me? Is that me, a statue of me in Tantalor? King Graham the Wise, huh? One day, you will have a statue of your own, right next to mine. I'm not sure Alexander the Wise suits me. Well, who else will carry on the family legacy? Come on. King Caduceus has a nice ring to it. Um, I forgot what decision I made in my uh, journey to make me have called the Wise. Uh, did I earn that title or did I just sort of like choose it? And what is all this stuff? Why is this just sort of out there? Is there all the, the magical treasures of Daventry just chilling out in the snow? This is my Wetzel Wolf patch. Zounds! When do I get a patch? Oh, you really are my son. You want this? And this is a small sampling of my collected treasures over Why the Why is it here? The magic chest has provided our kingdom with many riches. The magic shield has protected Daventry for years. And these beautiful gems... Well, the gems were really just for bonus points. Love it. I like looking at them. They're pretty. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I... Now, Tantalor, I think, at least I thought, was, like, the beach? It was, like, a tropical area? So I'm kind of confused of why there's these kind of trees and snow. Check it out. The trophy that won me the knighthood. Very nice. Wait, is that a bird bomb on the top of it? Moving on. Oh, right. Okay. That's a story behind that one. a bit about my legacy with Alexander, and showing him my treasures, we headed into town to grab some supplies for our trip. Oh, wait, no. Tantalor's that little village outside of Daventry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. I get it. I know where we are now. This is where we... F but we didn't really fall in love here. Me and your mom fell in love in... Kalima technically, or wherever the heck we got zipped off to to solve that puzzle. Uh, the music, you guys. Listen. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy! Okay, so we know that the Cobblepots, I guess, are dead, which is really sad, but we haven't talked to Amada in a long time, nor um, who's the other one? Oh, uh, uh Baker Man. But we probably didn't win any points with him since we kind of let his wife almost, you know, die. So let's see what Amada's been up to. I'm very curious. Hello. Amaya's shop was closed for the winter. Perhaps she went with Whisper on a snow oh, retreat. Right, that's right. Whisper and her are like a thing now. All right. Well, let's go see what the baker man is up to. I always forget his name. Wenty and Bramble were in Serenia the holiday visiting their son Taylor. Too bad I could really go for a pie. Serenia! That's where King's Quest V takes place. Oh, so many references, so little time. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I could talk to my own son, but then we could also go upstairs and talk to, um, oh, why am I forgetting everybody's name today? Oh, that's gonna bother me until I go up there and talk to him instantly. Which shop do you need supplies from? Confession, supplies are secondary. I just wanted to introduce you to my friends. Well, which door are we headed in? Well, everybody's kind of gone, so we only have one choice, because there's only three shops in town. What's this one? Nothing! King Graham! Well, hello. It's so good to see you. I wanted you to meet my son. You look so pissed off. Hey there. This your boy? Ooh, we he looks just like a skinny mini version of you. Name's Acorn, friend. Put her there. Oh. Nice to meet you. I'm Goody. <clears throat> I mean, I'm Alexander. Oh, uh, he wants you to shake his hand. Don't leave me hanging, new little buddy. Um, sorry. I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean. <laughs> no, uh, no, don't tell me you don't know what a handshake is. Handshake? What is that, a dance? Oh, sorry. I know you're not from around these parts. Here, hold your hand out. All right, I guess. Crush. 
Now shake and squeeze and smile if you please. Like, like this? Am I handshaking? Ouch! Ooh, wow, you have quite the strong grip, Alex. I sense a small bull behind those eyes. I hope that nasty wizard didn't put that there. I'm still figuring all that out. Oh, we don't talk about Alexander's past. I'm not sure that's a good idea. If you ever want advice about how to keep your bull in the pen, let's do brunch. Acorn, now, my I'm man. quite experienced in redirecting feelings. Seriously, have you ever seen anything more fabulous than this folk art? <laughs> I'm not sure that I know what you mean, really. Oh, are my summer shorts ready? Sure are. I got them in the back. Alex, my new little buddy, you mind giving me and your dad a moment for his fitting? Sure, I'll just wait outside. Oh, I'm serious about that brunch. Oh, and it was fantabulous meeting you. I wonder how old Icorn is at this point. He doesn't look like he's aged a day. He still fills out that armor nicely. Oh, the Hobblepots. I miss them so much. I don't know what this is, but they said not to open it until you were sure you I wonder if they're in there. That would be something they'd do if, like, the spirit of the Hobblepots were in there. And very Hobblepot-like. They also wanted me to thank you for doing such a great job in Dallas. Are they still alive? King Graham the Wise, they said. The kingdom has never been smarter. Your reign has promoted an air of intelligence and thoughtfulness. That was so sweet of them. I only wish they could tell it to me in person. Don't we all? Now, enough sappy stuff. Let me see how fierce you look in these knitted shorts. It's like 10 degrees outside. Do I have to do this now? Well, I guess it's nice to warm inside the shop. That, oh, I don't get to see the summer shorts. I want to see King Graham and booty shorts. So, how are we getting to this Tantalor? Where's our parade of royal steeds? <laughs> I wanted the whole family to ride together, so I booked the most spacious carriage I could oh, think of. Ollie. Oh, nope, not him. Riches. Boy, so good to return to your gold. I mean, fold. <laughs> holy it doesn't look like he's aged holy. much either. You've multiplied, mated, and procreated. Ha, thoink, thoink. And you've let your belly day slide. I never got married. Research shows it's the number one cause of divorce. But, uh, oh, just look at all those beautiful cheeks to pinch. Shalom, whoosh, salami, whoosh, saliva. Whoosh. Oh, if I met this one, I'd never forget a face like that. Call me Caduceus. Oh, yeah, you're that Gwydian guy. Don't worry, your dad didn't rescue me from the goblins either. Oh. Now, then, that's enough dawdling. People, let's get the street show on the road. Grammy boy, you left to load Too your own soon. luggage. Mr. Fancy Cakes is peeved you left him to die in the caves. And I forgot to pack my lifting shorts. All right, I got this. Do you want help? No, dear, I got this. I'm not sure that will all fit. Should we tie some to the roof? It'll fit. I'll make it fit. All right, so now it's time for a little bit of Tetris, it looks like. Let's see how this works. Uh, let's see. We should probably start with this corner piece. Ah, interesting. Yeah, we can do this. Family vacation. Let's go. That goes there. I hope I don't have just one chance at this. A cat cookie? 100 book of pants? Snowball let's see how long dinner? we can keep this An going. Adventurous cap. Tree climbing boots. Monkey fruit pie good. and my Wetzel wolf patch. I'm going to bring choco chip batter, a cat cookie. Oh, that's it. Sponge pants. One hundred pocket pants. Snarbel steaks for dinner. My adventurer's cap. Tree climbing boots. Monkey fruit pie. A Wetzel wolf patch. And lastly, the Hobblepot's magical weed killer potion. Not their most exotic work, but it gets the job done. I'm going on an adventure, and I'm oh, Rizella, just blow it. Chuck chip butter, a cat cookie, 100 book of pants, snowball steaks for dinner, an adventurer's cap, tree climbing boots, monkey fruit pie, a mini canvas. Yeah, finally. Nope. <laughs> uh, I forgot. You are out. Excellent work, everybody. I beat my record. And then the rest of the trip was followed in awful, awkward silence. Here we are, kids. Tropical Tannalore. Uh-huh. Someone's been busy. Like off-season? 
The weather is usually so nice this time of year. Uh, I just wanted to go swimming. These clouds will probably pass. Let's head to the resort. I'm sure they have a heated pool. Hey! You guys forgot... Never mind. I'll get it. You got this, Graham. Go right ahead. Okay, now before we get going... Uh, oh boy, there's so much. There's so much. Okay, my big question is Alexander's back and that's wonderful. Now, was he back? He did say he escaped Manannan, but because this game does like to kind of shift the story around a little bit, I'm a little bit curious and a little bit concerned that he is basically Manannan's puppet government, kind of, you know, just sort of infiltrating the castle. So he's like a spy. So maybe there's some kind of spell cast on Alexander that makes him, uh, that's kind of like records what's going on. I don't know, there, there's that possibility. And then the, uh, the uh, King's Quest IV, whatever happened to that, like, is that still coming? Uh, or did that just never happen? I, I don't quite get Or are they just not going to talk about it? I don't know. So maybe they, knowing the odd gentleman, they'll probably give it a nod somewhere down the line. They wouldn't just sort of toss it out sight unseen. So now here we are in Tantalor, which is sort of now under the jurisdiction, apparently, of the Ice Princess, a.k.a. Ooh, whatever the girl's name, we didn't actually choose to be our Queen Valenice. Uh, see, N Nessa? Is that her name? Or did I choose Nessa or Val? I think it's Nessa. Yeah, Nessa. Anyway, we'll save that for another time. So there's a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of story, because there's probably going to be a ton of back and forth between Alexander and Graham. But until next time, as always, uh, a good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.